learners and welcome to the world of events i'm sure all of you are excited to know what events are all about and what the dynamics of the event industry are like we all have heard about events events have been a part and parcel of our lives but have we ever managed events that's a point to ponder on now before i go on with this introductory session on event management i want to ask you a basic question what is exactly an event an event is an experience which conveys a multi dimensional communication to the brain now you ask me what is this all about how does this happen basically it happens when the com- consumers get a sensory appeal of what event is and this sensory appeal comes through the sense of seeing tasting smelling and feeling so very aptly event management is called the business of experiences so welcome to learning about the business of experiences now i would like to take you through a brief presentation about what event management is and as we go through this presentation i would like you to make a few notes about whatever is been shown in the presentation so let's go ahead with the presentation so we see all kinds of events like this happening around us a promotional campaign it's also called a mall activation for a product a wedding celebration sports football cricket you name it you are aware and familiar with all such events like the ipl the film fair awards the lakme fashion week and so on we have a lot of uh, definitions given for the concept of event management by the industry experts and also practitioners from the field of management let's go through them one by one uh one definition says that an event is an experience that is carefully crafted to deliver an impact on the person in attendance while another definition says that an event is an occasion where a gathering of a target audience meets to celebrate or experience an occurrence designed and organized to communicate and interact with a purpose to achieve an objective another definition simply says that events are occurrences designed to communicate particular messages to target audiences now another definition which seems to be a very holistic kind of definition and a combination of all the definition is an event is a live multimedia package carried out with a preconceived concept customized or modified to achieve the client's objectives of reaching out and suitably influencing the sharply defined specially gathered target audience by providing a complete sensual experience and an avenue for two way interaction so after all an event is conducted to convey a multi dimensional communication to the brain through very immersive experiences and it also provides an avenue for two way interaction through sensual experiences so now you'll ask me why do we need to study event management why are we all here to know about what events are basically we need to understand that today the happening of events is not ad hoc an event is professionally managed to happen it means that consumers are willing to pay to conduct events and a successful happening of an event is the success of the event manager or the event planner secondly we need to understand that we need a lot of human resources with the required skills for conducting events we see that although the key strengths of the event industry are you know ideation creativity youth factor etc etc we need to know that these are the requisite skills that are essential for conducting of events then of course uh, the event industry demands a lot of youth and youth employability that is because 
creativity is here to stay any event demands a lot of creative work and cre creativity is not uh, there in you by birth it can be learned over a period of time which is what this course is going to teach you then of course events provide the touch and feel experience like i said events are also called the business of experiences so the at the heart the core of the word event lies the word experience in every definition every concept of event that you come about you see that the word experience is always written so hence events are called the business of experiences and the business to bring out the right and positive desired experience for the target audience then of course we need to know that management of events is a service activity and therefore hence for any kind of service you require specific skills you need to have good networking skills negotiation skills soft skills communication skills technological skills creativity skills and much more and this is not very difficult to know while you learn about event management then above all the overarching reason for you to study event management is that events today are social and economic drivers why i say social before economic is that events have been happening since the existence of human kind mankind hence events are social drivers and of course economic drivers of cities regions and nations they not just create social impact in the regions where they are conducted but also economic impact which is why events today is a multi million dollar industry turning about crores and crores of revenues to the cities and countries where they are held now let us come about to learning about the key elements of an event what are the key elements of an event for any kind of activity which is done there are essential elements or components similarly for an event also there are six essential elements we start with the event infrastructure what is an event infrastructure an event infrastructure is a broad term that encompasses the core concept people talent and structure which go into the event then comes the target audience for whom the event is held target audience is basically defined as the people who get the ultimate experience of the event and for whom the event organizer consciously designs the event then who are the clients the client is the person for whom the event is held the client says to the host please hold the event for me so the client is basically a sponsor or financier of an event venture so there could be several sponsors for a particular event or there could be a single sponsor for a particular event then comes the concept of event organizers there it is also an essential element of an event it is the most in fact most essential element of an event an event organizer who is an event organizer the event organizer is a person or a company who designs and executes all activities concerning the event now comes the venue what is a venue venue is the place simply putting where the event is held so it is the place where the event takes place what is media media is a vehicle which is used to communicate details of the event to the target audience through media you come to know where when and for whom the event is being conducted so these are basically the key elements of an event so we come across several such events in our lives which we have attended or participated in like a musical night a rock show a uh, visiting a uh, folk music session and so on these are certain other glimpses of events on in in the sports realm like the olympics the commonwealth games now let's understand what are the key strengths of the event industry once you come to know the key strengths of the event industry you will get a better in depth understanding of why you are learning this course the first and primary key strength of the event industry is creativity and ideation like i have already said earlier creativity and ideation seem to grow with the event industry creativity is essential for both growth and retention for any person within the event industry 
even if you feel that you are not creative enough when you compare yourself to a friend or any other person in your profession your colleague or your friend you will realize that if you are in the realm of events if you are in the event management profession you build creativity as a talent or as a skill as you grow within the industry and this gives you a platform to ideate to generate ideas for every event another key strength of the event industry is delivering cost effective solutions and strong vendor base support now vendor base is something which the event industry heavily depends on like technological support you need the help of technologists to put up the event people who are well versed with equipment equipment providers who will come and set up the event like trussing and rigging in events those who build up fog screens led screens so on the caterers and many more people upon whom the event industry depends and any event company or an event firm has the knack of delivering cost effective solutions to the client so this is another key strength of the event industry another major strength is the ability to get things done in terms of conceptualizing managing and executing events this means that you know there are many key challenges in the event industry like regulatory bottlenecks limited infrastructure dearth of quality talent which initially enters the industry an inadequate supply chain and an unorganized vendor base so despite all these challenges the event industry has an overarching strength of ability to getting things done then another major strength of this industry is the ability to create intellectual properties now what are intellectual properties i'll briefly mention here because i'll come to that in the next slide an intellectual property is any event or activation whose intellectual property which means it could be the concept logo name or format is wholly or partially owned by the company you must have heard about intellectual properties like ifa awards india bike week sunburn and all so these are popular intellectual properties and this is increasingly trending in many event management companies across india and across the world so the ability to create intellectual properties is a key strength of the event industry then comes another strength which is generating sizable business opportunities for all of you in the organized and unorganized sectors so event industry while we realize that it has many organized players a lot of registered event companies we have a lot of unorganized players as well and these unorganized players also offer a lot of opportunities a foray of opportunities i would like to put it here to uh, people who want to enter the event industry and those trained in this field are able to use these skills to succeed in other professions and build entrepreneurship suppose you want to enter the event industry and you have built up skills over a period of time but you feel that you are not having the right kind of fun in the event industry you have the better chances of excelling in other professions not just in the event industry as but in other industries as well where you would like to create your own uh, startup or build your own entrepreneurship so those who do well in the event industry can do well in any profession that's a very very famous adage given by event experts uh, whom i know so this would be a very big advantage for you and with very little seed capital you can start an event enterprise now uh, how did this transition happen from sunrise sector to a competitive sector uh, the event industry started getting popular in india from the late 1980s through the early 1990s and today like i said uh, the turnover of this industry runs into thousands and thousands and thousands of crores even as we speak the industry is evolving so to understand that this is a competitive sector we need to understand four key services which are offered in the event industry today the first i would like to discuss is intellectual properties uh, like i said intellectual properties uh, are those events where the event concept logo name 
uh, you know the format etc are partly or wholly owned by the event management company so you see uh, uh, many successful events are now turning into intellectual properties and this is trending by the day so intellectual properties are uh, known to increase it's a given fact by many industry experts who feel that uh, intellectual properties will be the next uh, trend of the season then we have managed events managed events are basically uh, brand launches dealer meets festivals fundraisers and personal events like weddings anniversaries and parties these are reasonably smaller in size comparable to larger sized events like the olympics uh, mahakum mela the hajj uh, the big balloon festivals the pushkar mela and so on where we have millions and millions of community gatherings so these events uh, are called managed events where we see uh, events happening on a small scale they are mostly corporate or personal events they are managed by an event management company or on behalf of a third party who owns the uh, intellectual property of an event if any then we come down to the digital events and activations or promotional campaigns now what are digital events digital events are those events that uh, bring audiences together where attendees are not physically present in the same location but are con uh, connected in one common digital environment so advertisers are looking increasingly at such events because they are done at a fraction of cost as compared to traditional events so due to increasing smartphone penetration and so on uh, these digital ac activations are increasingly becoming popular in rural areas also for rural marketing purposes then we have small scale uh, events like uh, promotion or sale of a product uh, events such as promotional campaigns uh, popular amongst these are the mic the meetings incentives conferences and exhibitions so these are also increasingly becoming popular and some of them also come under the bracket of managed events then we see a lot of rural events trending sports events we have more than 25 popular sports which are being uh, held across india in uh, districts towns cities at the national level and global level a lot of sports that have emerged in india are now being uh, held as events across the world so sports is increasingly trending in today's times we have digital integration of events hybrid events uh happening in a blended format and of course government events government events like the make in india campaign skill development tourism the elephanta festival in maharashtra make in maharashtra campaign these are also state government events another state government event like the annual tourist and industrial uh fair in tamil nadu all these and many more such events are held by the state governments and central governments and they are increasingly trending so some of them are regional events like the kerala boat race we have the tomatina festival happening in spain so all these are also regional events and they come under hallmark events because they are special events unique one of kind of events now let us uh, try to understand what uh, the process of event is right from the time uh, the conceptualization and planning starts till the event is implemented to bring out the desired experience to the audience let us have a look at the process of events to get a holistic picture of what uh, event management is all about and this is just a snapshot for you to get a feel of what uh, and how the uh, event is like and how it is conducted so uh, basically at the initial stages we conduct the necessary research to determine expectations and create a customer profile or target audience who attend the event so we need to do uh, a study of the market environment a study of the consumers who will be attending the event for whom the event is going to be held this is followed by conceptualizing the event you know generating the idea how you ideate how you use your creative skills to conceptualize the event and then you assess the scope of the event which is required to meet expectations 
This is then followed by how you determine the elements and components that provide the features of the desired experience. What kind of elements are required? Do we need some kind of an entertainment within the event? Do we need some kind of other management within the event? Do we need some kind of other experience within the event and so on? Then of course the technology part and you know other aspects which need to be looked into to provide the desired experience. This is followed by how you visualize how all these event components which were listed in the previous step will and must fit together and then design the strategy for uh, implementation of the uh, event process. Then you select the best products and providers available and affordable. And finally, what next? Finally, you monitor and deliver the event experience, which is suited to the needs of the consumer as per the client's needs. So this is a snapshot of how an event is conducted right from the conceptualization state to the implementation of the event. So why is there so much of demand for events? What are the factors which drive events? We need to understand that there is a large need of uh, social integration. So social factor is the primary factor which comes into play. We know that man is a social animal and since the birth of mankind we have seen events happening uh, since stone age. So why is there a need for events? Events are held to provide a link between individual and communities. There is a need for social integration and integration uh, between the individuals, communities. There is a need for uh, ceremonial uh, and traditional celebrations, the need for public celebration. You have to promote community cohesiveness. Sometimes we need to bring about uh, national integration, group activities, social norms, promote social mores and social structure. So social factor is a very big factor that drives events today. Economic factors, like I already mentioned that a lot of consumers are willing to pay for conducting events. So a lot of events are held uh, for a particular purpose, but also to fulfill the consumer's demand. So this de demand is triggered by an increasing standard of living, increasing urbanization, changing demographics, a lot of exposure to media and increasing literary, uh, literacy rates, which generate awareness about why and how the event should happen. And of course, because they happen for a purpose. So the large number of events that are happening around us doesn't mean that events uh, happen just like that. It also means that events are crafted to bring out the desired experience. In short, they are made to happen. And finally, motivational factors. These are the uh, primary factors which drive events. We know that we attend events or we uh, participate in events to uh, bring about some kind of uh, physical and mental fulfillment, physical gratification or, uh, you know, emotional gratification, you could say. It makes a person happy to attend such events. When you have family celebrations, birthday parties, anniversary parties, it is to bring about a feel of happiness and celebration in your family. So psychological, social, Physical, personal and organizational factors are the major motivational factors in organizations as well. When you want to commemorate the death anniversary of the founder of the organization, you hold an event. You hold an event to a solemn event uh, when a person, uh, you celebrate uh, the founder's birthday or you celebrate the annual day of that particular corporate organization an educational meet and so on. So these are all organizational celebrations which are happened, uh, very, uh, which are happening very frequently. Then there is a large scope of events based on demands. So we see that there is, and these demands are largely market demands. Uh, there are four kinds of potential demands for events. First is the current demand. Current demand is a demand uh, where an event is uh, held 
to satisfy the customer at that particular moment or that particular point of time that is a current demand future demand many event managers need to understand future demand apart from current demand future demand is a demand which we foresee which we know that this will happen in future like we are going to foresee a lot of hybrid events or a lo lot of virtual events happening in future so it is a demand which our event could satisfy in the future over a normal growth period and latent demand latent demand is a demand which is sleeping which you are not really uh, uh, wanting to do right now but you are aware of until you provide an event late at a later time to fulfill it this is a latent demand then there is also a particular kind of demand called suppressed demand this is a demand which exists for our event but cannot get to it due to being suppressed by price time availability lack of disposable income or it could be geographical constraints climatic constraints and so on so there is a demand but you are not able to fulfill it because of uh, uh, price time availability factors demographic factors geographical and climatic factors which i just mentioned so all these put in a nutshell are the different kinds of potential demands for events and based on these demands we have a wide scope of events so learners welcome to this course and uh, i'm sure that you will be able to gain a lot from this course and uh, let's get started because uh, we need to experiment through the learnings of this course you're going to have a lot of wonderful experts eminent experts from the event industry and uh, faculty of event management from different universities and uh, institutes who will be uh, taking sessions uh, during the course of your learnings and i would request you all to please keep a diary and a pen with you and put down those points which are of interest to you and which will be of use to you in the future so happy learning and welcome to this course once again thank you so much